guys and welcome back to the channel daughter of increase my name is Nate Denise for those of you who are new to the channel or who just happen to stumble across this video and I post new videos every Tuesday and Thursday all about my faith God Christ and expanding the kingdom of God I am back with another Bible review for you guys because I have so many Bibles to review and I need to catch up on these reviews <laughs> so I have this one here and this is the illuminated Bible ESV translation art journaling edition from Crossway I love Crossway Journaling Bibles. Let me just say that. I really do love it. I enjoy the ESV translation. I think it's probably one of the easier translations for most people to uh, kind of read and understand. And um, I just like art journaling at the same time. Um, but we all know that my type of journaling um, compared to other Bible journalers is very different. I do my journaling in a sense of actual like Bible study notes, writing prayers. Um, but this Bible... It's just got gorgeous. It's stunning. It does come in multiple colors. I think there's a blue, there's a black, there's a burgundy. Yes, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I do have the hardcover green edition, which is just oh, can we just can we just admire the beauty that she is? Like, oh my gosh, just the spine is gorgeous. Again, on the spine it says Illuminated Bible Art Journaling Edition, English Standard Version, Crossway lovely the back i mean the unfolding of your words gives light psalms 119 this bible does retail for 40 dollars 39.99 us and you can obviously get this bible somewhere like um, christianbook.com amazon probably cheaper again this is the hardcover edition gold gilded edges i am a fan of gold and rose gold like just let me just say but what i love it's that you can take off the dust jacket and the Bible itself is still as gorgeous. So you still have the illuminated Bible ESV on the front. You still have the scripture on the back and the spine. So I am loving that a lot of Bible companies are doing this now. Um, they're actually printing the dust jacket design onto the actual Bible. So when you get this, sorry about these papers. Let me move these out of the way. When you get this Bible, um, and if you get it in hardcover... Your your dust jacket may come ripped. Mine's did. I got mine directly from Crossway. Um, so I just think in general when you have a hardcover with a dust jacket and it's not wrapped up, your dust jacket is bound to be damaged. But um, it's not bad damage, which is fine. And you can always just, I can always just tape up the inside. Um, but yeah, let's just go through the information here. Okay, let's just read through it. I can get this focus okay so it says the word of god is a treasure to be read memorized internalized and shared the asv illuminated bible art journaling edition was created to continue an historical stream of illuminated manuscripts featuring over 500 illustrations designed by and under the art direction of lettering artist donna tanamachi if i'm pronouncing that wrong i'm sorry <laughs> this edition is intended to draw readers eyes to the beauty of the word of god itself stirring up affection for the creator and inviting deep reflection on the narrative and truths of scripture simply enjoy the beauty of illustrate of the illustration or engage with them by adding color to the artwork or designing your own in the margins allow the reading of god's word to illuminate the truth in god i'm sorry the truth of god in your mind and heart that it may dwell in you richly as you read and meditate on the other side of the dust jacket, you get your features, so it's a non-point type font, two-color printing, single-column paragraph format, which I love, wide margin, great, 64 full-page book opener illustrations, 54-page verse illustrations, 250 hand-lettered verses in the margins, 100-plus additional illustrations throughout, and then you get some information about Donna Tanamachi, which is an Amer she is an American lettering artist, graphic designer, and illustrator whose exquisite type box typographic <laughs> it's early in the morning i'm drinking coffee so pay me no mind uh yeah i bought me a dunkin donuts cup i have like their other I, I don't even know why i'm showing you guys but i bought one of their clear cups because i have like two other of their cups but yeah um so yeah again this is a dust jacket i love it i'm saving all of my dust jackets because i don't want them to be destroyed but let's dive into this glorious stunning bible so here is what the end pages look like it's really nice, pretty basic, nothing, you know, over the top. And then you go into your gorgeous, just, do you see the gorgeousness of this presentation page? Let me just say, 
Crossway has been doing a lot of gold foiling within their Bibles and like on the covers and I'm loving it as a fan of gold. I'm just gonna, you know, need them to come out with a rose gold kind of edition or like a Bible specifically for women with like rose gold. Yes, just saying, random note, but yes, this is very pretty. You have your blue, burgundy, and green flowers with your uh, gold foiling. It says the Holy Bible presented to by and on. This is kind of like a page you just don't want to write on because it's just gorgeous, okay? Then you have the kind of like main uh, title page. Gorgeous. The foil is just amazing. Holy Bible ESV. Oh, wait. Let's, let's skip pages. Then you have your contents. Okay, you have some information over here, which is like your copyright information. You get information about the ESV, your introduction to the actual Bible itself. Um, so a brief history of the illuminated manuscripts, the heart um, behind the ESV Bible, and then how the ESV illuminated Bible was made, um, as well as how you use it. And you dive into the Old Testament, okay? So, I'm going to try to get this on camera as best as I can because it's just, just stunning. So here is Genesis. I mean, each book begins with gorgeous artwork, and the artwork always um deals around the actual book itself okay i don't know why i just said it like that so this one is going to be more floral it's going to have the birds the moon and the sun um you know nature because obviously genesis is when the world was created and when god made man so you have that um the beginning of each book has like this cute little illustration on top and then the first letter the first word is always done in a gorgeous hand lettering so within it you're gonna have this should be gold i'm gonna say it's more of a bronzy kind of color but um it's kind of like gold text which is why they say uh two-tone text within so you have your gold with black text i'm loving it i love the single column journaling kind of style i love reading it that way and studying it that way um and the margin space is amazing you can obviously draw if you want to but me we know I like to study and write prayers and things like that. So this is great for doing that kind of technique. I really enjoy this. Here is one of those scripture verse um, arts here. So God saw everything that he made and behold, it was very good. Genesis 131. So I'm loving that. Okay. So even the chapter numbers are going to be in that gold color. Okay. So to begin with, let's go back. <laughs> So you guys can see so the title for that chapter or book is going to be in gold the first letter of the entire book in the first sentence is going to be gold and then the um chapter number is going to be gold i just went blank as well as the page numbers at the bottom and at the top so you get a hint of gold throughout which i do love and enjoy okay so now I'm just going to flip through and show you guys some of the artwork. So here's a flower that was done. Here's a full page. You meant evil against me, but God meant it for my good. I just, I really love the artwork thrown in this Bible. And um, let's dive right into Exodus. This just reminds me of Moses, honestly. Some of the scripture artwork. Here's another full page. The Lord, the Lord, a good, merciful. I'm sorry. The Lord, the Lord, a God, merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abandoning and steadfast love and faithfulness, keeping steadfast love for thousands. Exodus 34, 6 through 7. So what I'm going to do now is speed through this part and mute um, and throw some music on because i got a lot like a lot to show you guys and i want to just flip through it um without talking too much and then i'll talk towards the end so let's go into it
so now we are at the end of the Bible. And at the end of the Bible, there is a section called Index of Title Pages. And um, basically what it is, is you basically get smaller prints of what those big illustrations I just showed you were. So like the, um, if I can get to the page. When you get to these kind of like book uh, title pages, you get smaller ones here. And basically um, she breaks down why she designed it as such, which I think is really, really great. Because then you can go back and look at the pictures and understand why she chose certain flowers or certain animals and things like that. So that's what she has at the back written down. Um, and then you just get the team for the Bible and that is pretty much it. Um, I briefly showed you guys the bookmark ribbon, but there is a bookmark ribbon. I wish it was a little bit thicker, honestly, but um, this is okay. I really do love the color of this. It's it's an olive green color to me. I feel like that's what the color of the Bible is, is olive green and not just like a regular green. And um, I think my favorite illustration so far besides Ephesians and Revelations would be the Psalms because it has the whole deer and like the trees planted by the waters. And I mean, why not? But overall, uh, 1 out of 5, I give this Bible a 5. I think it is really, really great. Um, actually, no, I'll take that back. I'll probably give it a 4, 4.5, only because, um, you know, the artwork surrounding it does take away from, like, notes, if you will. Like, some of them, you know, some of these take up space for notes. But um, you can always uh, kind of substitute that by sticking in paper, um, using post-it notes, or using washi tape to tape paper in. But, um... Yeah, I'm going to say a 4.55. That's what I'm going to say. My final answer is a 4.55. Would I recommend this? Yes. Would I pur have purchased this on my own? Definitely. I personally love the hardcover edition. It does lay flat, as you can see. No problems. Um, and just the Bible itself is absolutely stunning. I love the like the thought and the care that they took, took into this. Um, you can definitely give this to a teenager you can definitely give this to a kid um i feel like it is it works for both men and women but men aren't keen on the whole artistic lettering side from what i know um some men probably are but i do recommend this i have seen the black i think the burgundy is really pretty and um, i think there's a blue one i will leave all the links down below for you guys to check out and purchase on amazon and christianbook.com but overall i do love this bible i'm glad i was sent this out before review i did get this bible like last year and I'm just not doing a review on this Bible. Um, but that's okay. I'm catching up on all of my Bible reviews. And that is pretty much it for this video. So if you guys want to see anything concerning this uh, Bible, um, my thoughts, me using the Bible, um, some tips on Bible journaling or whatever the case may be, you can leave those down below. You can leave your comments, questions, concerns all down below. You can contact me here on YouTube, Instagram, email. Everything is daughter up increase. <laughs> so yeah, Facebook, the Facebook group, however you choose to. A lot of you do DM me on um, Instagram and though it may not seem like I'm answering your um, your messages, I don't get the notifications. So literally like once a week, I check my DMs to make sure because for some reason I don't get a notification. I probably need to check my settings. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this Bible. I love this Bible and I think it's gorgeous. And yeah, um, and I did do my nails. I went and got them done um, professionally because my personal nails, I just, I wasn't up keeping them like I should have. And um, yeah, I got these gorgeous lavender and purple colors. So this lavender color is called Unicorn Lovely from D&D. &D. Um, D, D is the actual polish company. And then this one is in Blue Violet. You can get them either in gel or regular. Um, I think they come in packs up too. So you get the color, um, the gel polish for this paired with the regular nail polish which is great um so yeah that is it i went a little stiletto um i wanted something that was really nice and natural but i, I miss having long nails so that's why i did that but um yeah i love this bible totally recommend it and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video bye mm -hmm.